glory be to God. I want us to put our hands together and give the Lord a mighty shout of praise in Jesus' name. Come on, give the Lord a good shout of praise. Hallelujah. I want to count one, two, three, and then we are going to shout that the walls of Jericho may come down in Jesus' name. Hallelujah. One, two, three. Hallelujah. Glory be to God. Glory be to God. Glory be to God. You can be seated down. And I'm so happy and excited for all of you. I'm happy to see you. Uh, very excited to see all of you. May the Lord bless you for taking your time to be with us in our, our special anointing service. I believe that today the Lord is going to do great things in our midst in Jesus' name. Praise the name of the Lord. I'm so happy and uh, to see many people. Thank you for our pastor from Gatondo for being with us. Pastor Martin, God bless you. Uh, we are happy. I'm also happy to see the ministers of the gospel, uh, teacher Christopher and their, and their wife. It's a big, big blessing. And all of you, I'm also happy to see Noreen. Welcome very much. You're one of us. Glory be to God. All of you are one of us. And may the Lord bless you in a very big way. Amen. Can you turn to your neighbor and tell your neighbor, uh, pastor is happy to see you. In Jesus' name, in Jesus' name, glory be to God. I am trusting God that today I'm going to make the service very brief, although I have so much to tell us, because the Lord has got good things for us today, in Jesus' name. Uh, 2023, we are here by the grace of God. Can somebody say amen? amen? It is by the grace of God that we are here this year, 2023. And uh, if the enemy had been given permission, we would not have seen this year. But I thank God that we are in this year by the grace of God. And today I want to talk about a very interesting subject. Because I'm feeling this is what the Lord wants to do in our lives in Jesus' name. The theme of our year this year uh, is uh, from the book of, uh, uh, from the book of uh, Daniel chapter 11 uh, verses 32b. The Bible says, part B, the Bible says, and uh, they that know their God shall grow strong and they shall do exploits. This is our year for exploits in Jesus' name. Can somebody say amen? This is our year of exploits in Jesus' mighty name. Glory be to God. And we thank God that uh, last year was our year of great harvest. And by the grace of the Lord, we saw many people getting saved in this church. Uh, we saw people getting saved. And one time we told people to stand up and wave their hands, those who have gotten saved, given their life to the Lord in the service, in our services, and many of them were there. And we give God all the glory in Jesus' name. Today I want to talk about we must be fruitful in Jesus' name. 2023, we must be fruitful. Am I talking to somebody? The year 2023, we must be fruitful in Jesus' name. In the spirit that is against your fruitfulness this year uh, shall suffer the wrath, the anger, and the judgment of God in Jesus' name. There is enough grace. There is enough anointing in the atmosphere. God has released grace that we may become fruitful this year in Jesus' name. And I'm going to read uh, three verses. And I believe I'm going to build from those three verses. And the Lord is going to be of a great blessing to us in Jesus' name. Turn with me to your Bibles in the book of John chapter 15 verses 8. The book of John chapter 15 verses 8. The book of John chapter 15 verses 8. This is what the Bible says. The book of John chapter 15 verses 8. The Bible says, This is to my, this is to my Father's glory that you bear much fruit. Showing yourselves to be my disciples. I'm reading again John chapter 15 verses 8. This is to my father's glory that you bear much fruit. Showing yourselves to be my disciples. I want you to go down there in verse 16. The same book of John chapter 15. Down there verse 16. The Bible says, You did not choose me, but I chose you. And appointed you so that you might go and bear fruit. So that you may. Let me read again John 15, 16. 
you did not choose me, but I chose you and appointed you so that you might go and bear fruit. Fruit that will last, and so that whatever you ask in my name, the Father will give you. Hallelujah. Then now I'm reading my, first, my final reading, the book of Matthew chapter 21, verses 19 and 20. Very interesting. Matthew chapter 21, verses 19 and verses 20. This is what the Bible says. Seeing a fig tree by the road, he went up to it, but found nothing on it except leaves. Then he said to it, may you never bear fruit again. Immediately the tree withered. When the disciples saw this, they were amazed. How did, how did the fig tree wither so quickly, they asked. Precious Father, in the name of Jesus, as I speak your word today, I pray that it may become a blessing to us. Thank you for this anointing service because our lives will never be the same again in Jesus' mighty name. Can somebody say amen? 2023 is our year of exploits in Jesus' name. It takes a battle to manifest exploits. You cannot just manifest exploits. Usifikiri uneza tukai, unanza kufanya mambo ambayo siya kawaida. It will take a battle. Itachukua vita ili wewe uweze kufanya mambo ambayo imepita ufahamu wa mwanadamu. Praise the name of the Lord. Remember the Bible says that what no eye has seen, what no ear has heard, and what no mind has conceived, these are the very things that God has prepared for those that who love him in Jesus' name. Exploits are not just done by everyone. By, they are not just done by anybody. Turn to your neighbor and tell your neighbor, exploits are not just done by anybody. Sio mtutu wa kawaida nafanya mambo aboni ya maajabu. Apana, exploits are not done by anybody. And that's why I'm saying it will take a battle for you to do exploits in Jesus' name. Exploits are done by those who have taken it upon themselves to know God. If you take it upon yourself to know God, you will do exploits the year 2023. Praise the name of the Lord. Amen. There are some of us here that the people of our family, our village members, are the members of our village, the members of our community, our neighbors, will be surprised by the things that you are going to do this year by the help of God in Jesus' name. Amen. Praise the name of the Lord. You must take it upon yourself to upon yourself to know God. You must become like the way the psalmist spoke in Psalms chapter 42, verses 1. The psalmist spoke. Mwandishi wa Zaburi akaandika kasema, as the deer pants for streams of water, so my soul pants for you, O God. Somebody must pant for God this year in Jesus' name. Somebody must have a hunger and a thirst for God this year 2023 in Jesus' name. I don't know who cheated people that the things of the kingdom are for free. The things of the kingdom are not free. The Bible says from the time of John the Baptist until now, the kingdom of God suffered violence and the violence take it by force. Hallelujah. Some of us are where we are by the grace of God. If he has taken a battle for us to be here where we are today. Some of you, your promotion has come because you have fought a battle. Some of you are, your business is thriving and doing well because you have fought a battle. Praise the name of the Lord. Don't think that you are where you are because things have been very easy for you. Could be somebody has prayed for you and pushed you to be where you are and you don't know. And the day they will stop praying for you, you realize things will start crumbling down. It will be like a building made out of sand instead of rocks. Praise the name of the Lord. 2023, there is enough grace for us to do tremendous exploits for the glory of God. Hallelujah. Kuna neema imetosha. Kuna neema tosha katika jina la Yesu. Ambia mwenzako kuna neema tosha mwaka huu. Kuna neema tosha mwaka huu. Neema kufanya mambo isio ya kawaida. Oh, hallelujah. There is enough grace this year. And grace is able to qualify where even you have not, where even you, you cannot qualify on your own. Praise the name of the Lord. God wants to glorify himself through you this year, 2023. Hallelujah. You know God cannot glorify himself. Can somebody look at your neighbor and tell your neighbor, God cannot glorify himself. God cannot praise himself. 
But there are some things that God will do through us this year that he may glorify himself. There is somebody who has been sick throughout the year 2022. This year, you are going to walk in divine health so that God may be glorified. There is somebody who has always struggled and they have always had a problem with their landlord and their landlady last year. But this year, God, God, God is going to enable you to own your own home. And then people will say there is God in heaven. In Jesus' name. Even the Bible says, how do angels know who God is? By the things they see God doing for us in Jesus' name. Hallelujah. Amen. You must bear fruit. You must be fruitful this year in Jesus' name. Amen. Hallelujah. You must be fruitful in Jesus' name. The Bible says that they that know their God shall do what? They shall grow strong and they shall do exploits. Number one, we must know God. We must begin the journey of knowing God this year. Number two, when we have known God, we shall grow strong. After we have gone, grown strong, I'm talking about attaining spiritual muscles. And after we have attained the spiritual muscles, we are going to do exploits in Jesus' name. We must know God this year. God must not be a stranger to you anymore this year. You must know God in Jesus' name. Ah, you must know God. God must no longer be a stranger to you. God should not be a foreigner to you this year. You must desire to know God. And when you know God, the Bible says you shall grow strong and you shall do exploits in Jesus' name. Turn to your neighbor and tell your neighbor you have a homework this year. And the homework you have is to know God, to grow strong and to do exploits in Jesus' name. Our love, our relationship with God this year must be genuine. We must have a growing relationship with God this year. This year, we must have a growing relationship. We must have a relationship with God. A relationship that is growing. We must, our love for God this year must be genuine in Jesus' name. You must grow this year. There are people who don't grow spiritually. I flag you this year. I flag you today that you must grow in Jesus' name. We refuse every manner of stagnation. We refuse any manner of comma or full stop that was applied against your life by the enemies of your destinies. I declare and I decree over your life, this year you must grow in Jesus' name. Hallelujah. You know, a relationship with God is a walk with God. You cannot say that you have a relationship with God and you are not walking with God. The Bible says in the, in the book of Genesis chapter 5 verses 24, that Enoch walked with God until he was no more. That's what the Bible says in Genesis 5.24. That Enoch walked with God until he was no more. There are people who are going to walk with God this year until they are no more. They will not be raptured. But some of the things we saw in their lives last year that were negative, this year they will not manifest in Jesus' name. Because you shall walk with God until there is a total transformation. Turn, turn, turn to your neighbor and tell your neighbor there will be a total transformation in your life this year. A total shifting. A total transformation. Hallelujah. And is even a Kikuyu saying, Dogoneke. Yes. You cannot walk with God and you fail to know God. Amo 3.3 says, two cannot walk together unless they agree. This day in our anointing service, I want you to accept to agree with God. Make a covenant with God. Agree with God this day. Say, Father, I agree with you that I'm moving to the next level. There must, have, there must be that, uh, that part of you. There must be this desire in, in you that enough is enough. I am tired of being in one place. I must move to another place, in G, to another level in Jesus' name. Hallelujah. We are talking about this anointing service today. The Bible says in the book of uh, Isaiah uh, 10, 27, part B, that the anointing of the Lord destroys every yoke. What is a yoke? A yoke is a limitation. Wakati tunongea juu ya nila, tunongea juu ya kupungukiwa. There are people who have got yokes around their necks. There are people who have got yokes around their families. There are people who have got yokes around their businesses, around their children. Every yoke around your neck shall be broken today in Jesus' name. You see, when I talk about a yoke, I flash back 
to the lifestyle in the rural area where we have seen cows you know plowing the land and they have yokes around their necks those yokes they act as a limitation that cow cannot do anything apart from what it has been assigned to do there are some of us who have got yokes around our necks and a yoke is a limitation I declare every limitation upon your life shall be broken in Jesus' name. I have prayed and have told God, this year I want to walk free of limitations in Jesus' name. When we talk about a, a limitation, we are talking about a restriction. When we talk about a limitation, we are talking about a barrier. When we talk about a limitation, we are talking about a hindrance. When we talk about an, a limitation, we are talking about an obstacle. So many of us are being faced by obstacles, hindrances, barriers. But the anointing of the Lord is a yoke destroyer. Isaiah 10, 27b says, And the yoke shall be destroyed by the anointing. And the advantages of walking or the advantage of walking with God is that he will enable you to overcome all manner of, all manner of limitations in Jesus' name. Nataka ni na mungu mwaka huu. Mbaka vizuizi vyote upungufu wote ulio katika maisha yangu uvunjike katika jina la Yesu. And I've always been telling you become develop a generational mind. Always have this generational approach in everything that you do. If the Lord shall break the yoke in my life and remove any limitation in my life, in our life, our generations are fortunate in Jesus name. But if we fail in our time and in our generation, our descendants will suffer. Our descendants will suffer. Yaani tukishindwa ku kuangusha mambo mengine ambayo yametulemea, mambo ambayo yalilemea mababa zetu. Unajua kuna vitu zililemea mababu zetu na mababa zetu. Na inakaa ni kama inataka kutulemea. Hayo maneno tukiyakataa na tuyashinde nguvu, uzao wetu umebarikiwa. The Bible says in Psalms chapter 112 verses 2. The Bible says, Your descendants, your children, your descendants shall be great in the land. Glory be to God. Your descendants shall be great in the land. Your children shall be great in the land. Some of the decrees and the declarations we make in our lives, we do them not only because we are existing but we do them because of generations to come in jesus name picture this there are some things that may have struggled there are some things you may have gone through you may have struggled but picture this picture this picture this your children will be a, will be a success picture this your children will break through because you break you broke through on their behalf hallelujah there are some sicknesses we have fought with but thank God, we shall silence them because there is another de generation we are raising. There is another generation that is coming after us in Jesus' name. You must have a generational mentality. Don't only think about yourself. Don't only eat and be satisfied. When you eat and you are satisfied, ask yourself this question. I have eaten and I am satisfied. But my children and my great-great-grandchildren, will they experience the same satisfaction I have experienced in my time? And if you are not sure about it, go back on your knees. And the Bible says when we pray in the secret, our God shall reward us openly. Hallelujah! In the name of Jesus. If you are surrounded with limitations, you cannot be fruitful. That's why many people have not been fruitful. Remember the words of Jesus. Jesus spoke and said that we did not choose him. We did not choose him, but he chose us. And appointed us to bear fruit, the fruit kind of fruit that will do what? Will endure the kinds of fruit that will last. And the Bible also says in John 15 that how do people know that we are the disciples of Jesus by the fruits we bear? When you bear, when we bear fruits, it is a clear evidence, it's a clear manifestation that we are the children of God. And that's why Jesus wants to enable us the year 2023 to bear fruits in Jesus' name. You shall be fruitful. God will trouble even those who have employed you. They are going to give you salary increment in Jesus' name. You are going to experience an, a, a rise in your job group by fire, by force in Jesus' name. Because this year, 
ah, we are operating under a different atmosphere of and a special atmosphere of fruitfulness in Jesus' name. And I repeat again, it is the will of God to make us fruitful this year for his own glory. Amen. Kama ngombe yako imekuwa ikitoa maziwa kidogo, mwaka huu lazima Mungu aguze hiyo ngombe. Itoe maziwa mengi. Hallelujah. You know I'm, I'm huo nefraisho na watu wanaposema na wanapotusaidia kuelewa nguvu za Mungu ngombe inakula nyasi ya green inakula nyasi na kaka la ingine lakini inatoa maziwa ya hiyo ni siri ya Mungu vile Mungu anatenda huo muujiza anaweza fanya ngombe yako itoe maziwa mengi mwaka huu katika jina la Yesu haleluya huyo Mungu anaweza inua biashara yako na iwe biashara iliyo na nguvu because the bible says in the book of psalms For the sake of your kingdom you will prosper us. God wants to prosper me and you for the sake of the kingdom. The gospel and the kingdom will not be the work of the gospel, the work of the kingdom will not be support, supported by hidden. With the kingdom business will be supported by people that God has raised for his own glory. God will raise you for his own glory. For the sake of his kingdom God shall prosper you. That is what David spoke and said. For the sake of his kingdom There are people here who will have choppers. People will wonder, why did you get a chopper? It is for the sake of the kingdom. There are some of us here who have been praying that God may give them a small portion of land to just build a home for them and their children. But because your ministry calls for enlargement and the burden that God has given you is beyond you, the assignment God has given you is beyond you and your family, God will give you many acres in Jesus' name. So that you build a home not only for yourself but for others to come and live there. And God gives you the grace to host them. And people wonder. You see like in some of the Islamic nations. In some of the Islamic nations, do a research. I am a researcher. Any preacher of the gospel must be a very good researcher. If you are very rich in those Asian countries, kama wewe ni mtu tajiri katika zile nchi za za Uh, warabuni kama we ni tajiri katika nchi ya warabuni masikini wamekubalishwa kuingia katika nyumba yako katika bomba yako wanaoga na wanakula na wanaenda shughuli zao masikini na wale ambao ni hoi hai wamekubalishwa kuingia katika nyumba yako kula chakula kuoga na kuenda na hakuna mtu hautawauliza swali katika nchi ya warabuni wale ambao wame warabu wale wamekaa vizuri wale ambao ni mabuenyenye wale walio na hela wale walio na pesa I pray that in the name of Jesus it shall be written about me in the same way in Jesus name I declare that in the name of Jesus it shall be written the same way about you in Jesus name God will give us so much this year because of fruitfulness that we shall even have left over It will not only be about us but it will be it will not, it will not only be about me but it will be about us Tell your neighbor it will no longer be about you. It will be about us. That when you pray, you are going to lift up your prayer level into another dimension. The Lord bless me for the sake of others. He will not only bless you because of yourself. That God will bless us and God will bless me not only because of me. That God may bless me. I and my wife, we always pray and tell God that if only God can bless us so much, that we are even able to educate other children if we are able God to bless us that we are able even to get another child a child that we we are not even related with at least we educate that child not because of anything just to become a blessing that has always been our prayer and i know god one day one time will make it will bring it to pass in jesus name did you know that the opposite of fruitfulness is barrenness we come against every spirit of barrenness in jesus name Ah you must be bitter enough you must have the anger in you you must have that anger to come against every form of any form of barrenness turn to your neighbor and tell your neighbor are you comfortable with your barrenness I'm talking about spiritual barrenness I'm talking about physical barrenness are you tired with your barrenness ah God is the, our God is able to enlarge our territories Isaiah the Bible says in the book of Isaiah enlarge your territories enlarge your coast God wants to break barrenness. If you have not been experiencing fruitfulness, you have been experiencing barrenness. Tell your neighbor from today, your story is changing. 
God is changing your case. There will be no tell your neighbor there will be no barrenness. You will be fruitful. If God made Hannah to hold her own child, if God changed the story of Sarah and became a mother of a great generation, is able to happen for you in Jesus' name. Whatever is impossible to man, whatever is impossible to man, it is possible with God in Jesus' name. The year, this year, 2023, God wants to make us fruitful in Jesus' name. Hallelujah. If in the last years you have been barren, in the last years you have not been, you have not, you have not been fruitful, God has changed the story this year. He's making us fruitful the year 2023. And every yoke is being broken in Jesus' name. Every limitation is being broken by the anointing of God. Thank God for the mystery of the anointing oil. By the anointing oil, it will flow in your spirit, soul, and body, destroying every form of yoke in Jesus' name. You know, God does not glorify himself in our failures. God does not glorify himself, himself in our failures. But he glorifies himself, himself in our victories and in our achievements. God, Mungu wa jitukuzi katika kushindo wa kwetu. Angalia mweza kumuambie, failure yako siyo mapenzi ya Mungu. Nimechokesho na mambo haya na siyanga wapendo watu wa Mungu wanasema, oh nilipoteza hii, oh nilianguka hii sijuni, ati ni mapenzi ya Mungu. We, si mapenzi ya Mungu. Mapenzi ya Mungu ni ya kwamba wewe uwe mshindi. Because in your victories and in your achievement, God is glorified. But in your failure, I was in a place whereby I was leading prayers for the beginning of the year and I prayed in that family and I said, Oh God, I pray that nobody in this family will fail. Deliver this family from failure in the name of Jesus so that people will not laugh at us in Jesus' name. Nobody will laugh at you this year. They may have laughed at you last year, 2022, and in the previous, and in the last years, but I declare and I decree to you the year 2023, you will not be a laughing stock in Jesus' name. Ah, turn to your neighbor and tell your neighbor, you will not be a laughing stock. I feel my faith is so lifted up. Hallelujah. How to check Yule ambaye amekuwa kikuchekelea diwe haujaijua, wana kuchekelea, wana uliza mungu wako yuko aki. Sasa watawata kukuchekelea na watasema wameona mungu wako. Hallelujah. Please get this. That it is not the will of God for you to be defeated. The Bible says that we are more than conquerors in Christ Jesus. Receive the grace to conquer the year 2023 in Jesus name. We shall conquer in Jesus mighty name. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. Unajua kuna signs zingine. There are some signs of operation in the kingdom of God. Listen to me very carefully. There are signs of operation that are very much in the kingdom of God and in the kingdom of darkness. The signs of operation in the kingdom of God are the signs of addition and multiplication. Are you hearing me, church? There are signs of operation that God operates with in the kingdom. And that is the sign, those, these are the signs of addition and multiplication. We see God multiplying when Jesus prayed. We see God multiplying the five loaves of bread and two fishes and the 5,000 men were fed. Glory be to God. And there is a sign of operation in the kingdom of in the kingdom of darkness. There are signs of operation in the kingdom of darkness. And that is the sign of minus and division. I pray that in the name of Jesus Christ we shall desire to operate with the signs that God operates with in the kingdom. And that is addition and multiplication. Amen. The Bible says, seek here first the kingdom of God all its righteousness. And the rest shall be added unto you. But in the kingdom of darkness, the enemy operates with the signs of minus and division. And if you are not operating with the signs of God, you are operating with the signs that the enemy operates with in the kingdom of darkness. 
But from today in the name of Jesus, may every one of us desire to manifest, desire to operate the year 2023 with the signs of God. And that is addition and multiplication. Whatever you touch shall be multiplied. God says he will bless the work of our hands. Whatever you touch will be multiplied. Whatever you desire shall be added in Jesus' name. 2023 we must operate with the signs of God. And that is the sign of the sign that is the sign of addition and multiplication. Many of us have been operating with the signs of darkness of the kingdom of the enemy. That is minus and division. Unashika kitu inapunguzwa. Unashika unashika kitu inakuwa divided. Na ndio unapata makanisa mengine unapata baada the church instead of the church growing there is division because that is the sign of the kingdom of darkness. But where God operates, and that is why I thank God that we are going to have a lot of, we are going to experience fruitfulness the year 2023. To experience addition and multiplication. Amen. Unashika mshahara yako, wati kuna kaitanga kamshahara kata kubariki mwaka huu. Hako naitanga kamshahara kata fanya mambo makubwa. Unanisikiza? Nani angefikiria mikate mitano na samaki wawili wangefanya maajabu? Kumbe Mungu wa multiplication. Na hiyo ni wakati wa ye. Mtiseme ni Old Testament hiyo ni wakati wa ye. Wakati wa Yesu. Mungu atabariki chochote tuko nacho. Hata kama unataka kununua mawe ya kujenga na ni lori moja, wewe utarudi hapo uone ni kama hiyo mawe imezaana. There is something I've experienced and this is a miracle. And my wife knows. I always say mimi nasemanga hii gari ambayo Mungu amenibariki nayo kwa sasa maana atanibariki na zingine nyingi kwa utukufu wa ajina lake. Hii gari Mungu amenibariki nayo kwa sasa tunasemanga imeokoka hata kama Yesu hakufa kwa ajili ya gari alikufa kwa ajili yetu mimi tunasemanga imeokoka. Because kuna wakati mwingine unaendanga unaona hiyo gauge mimi mipango naonanga hiyo gauge ilikuwa chini na labda ile mafuta uko nayo ulikuwa umeka mafuta ambayo unagalia mfuko iko sasa lakini unaona kama gauge imeenda juu tena kidogo. Na inaenda kilomita kadhaa. Na unaona ile kilomita umefanya na ile mafuta umeweka. Unasema this must be a miracle. This must be a miracle. Kuna vitu vingine unaona mtu anafanya mambo makubwa na kale kamshara na patanga ni kamshara kadogo sana. You just need the blessings of God over your money. You need the blessings of God over your child. You need the blessings of God over your life. Watu wanakutana katika boardroom, katika mikahawa, katika mabaa, wanapanga vile watakuangusha. Lakini wanapokupangia vile watakuangusha, Mungu anasikiza maneno yao, anayabadilisha, Mungu anakupromote katika jina la Yesu. Wanaenda wanapata umekadia kiti, viti ambavyo walikuwa wanataka hao wako wakitaka kukalia, wanapata umevikalia. Mjimiujiza miraculously in Jesus name. Hallelujah. God is going to make us fruitful this year 2023. God wants us to make God wants to make us a miracle sign and a wonder the year 2023. I will be a miracle sign and a wonder. Can your neighbor tell your neighbor God will make you a miracle a sign and a wonder this year. In Jesus name. God wants us to come major storms in this year the way Jesus calmed a very major storm in the book of Mark chapter 4 verse 39 God wants us to yani tutanyamazisha mawimbi mwaka huu that is part of fruitfulness tutanyamazisha mawimbi makali mwaka huu katika jina la Yesu God wants us to heal all manner of sicknesses and diseases and even raising the dead if possible in Jesus name this year 2023 Don't tell me it is possible it is possible. The Bible says in the book of Matthew 10 verse 8 Jesus told his disciples go heal all those people who are sick heal the sick raise up uh, heal the sick cleanse the lepers raise up the dead in uh, Matthew 10:8 We are going to be a miracle sign and a wonder this year in Jesus name. Amen. I want to say that this year God wants to work out miracles of all kinds through our lives in Jesus name. The Bible says very well in the book of Mark chapter 16 verse 17. And these miracle signs and wonders shall follow those that shall believe. They shall lay hands shall cast out devil. Praise the name of the Lord. 
And these miracle signs and wonders shall follow those that believe. They shall touch snakes, take poison, but they shall not be harmed. Praise the name of the Lord. 2023, ah, God is going to make me and you a miracle sign and a wonder. Are you ready? Expectation is the matter of all miracles. How expectant are you? I have seen women when they're expectant, starting with my wife. When they're expectant, they don't eat any food the way they want to eat. They are very careful on their nutrition. They are very careful how they sleep. Even if your mattress is not good, you invest on a good, in a good mattress. And they start preparing because of that EDD. That EDD. Expected day of delivery. They prepare for that day. And they have a bad prepared expectation. Because they know they are not ready for any other negative word. They are not ready for any other word apart from I'm delivering my child. I'm delivering my newborn. Expectation is the mother of all miracles. I pray that our expectations may be high this year in Jesus' name. Hallelujah. God wants to make me and you a solution in this generation. A solution. Turn to your neighbor and tell your neighbor you'll be a solution in this generation. Utakuwa solution. Angalia mweza kumambia kutakuwa solution. You'll be a solution this year. Amen. You imagine, think of a church. Eh? Think of a family. Imagine a family. Imagine a church. Imagine a business. Eh? Imagine even this nation of Kenya. Eh? With people who are troublemakers instead of providers of solution. How will be our families? How? I see even teachers around here. Imagine in a school. We have people who are troublemakers instead of bringing solutions. If you are able to bring a solution, people will give you good money. People will pay you well because you bring, you are able to register results in Jesus' name. Amen. Don't be a troublemaker in your home, in your marriage. Don't be a troublemaker in your place of work. Don't be a troublemaker in your, in your nation. Refuse to be a troublemaker. Tell your neighbor, refuse to be a troublemaker. And that's why God wants to remove all manner of limitations in our life. You cannot, we cannot be fruitful this year if there are some limitations that have been raised up against us. We must bring them down by the anointing of God that is a yoke destroyer. Amen. And if you refuse to be fruitful, what does the Bible say? If you refuse to be fruitful, the Bible says God will curse you. You will be cast. Jesus looked at a fig tree. Akaenda katika a fig tree. What do you call a fig tree in Kiswahili? Mukuyo wa maninini? Haya. Iyo mnajua iyo. Jesus went to a fig tree. There was nothing in that fig tree. There was nothing in that fig tree. There was nothing. He needed something. He needed to eat. He needed to eat, but there was nothing. And when Jesus looked at that fig tree and saw that there was no fruit, he cast it. Then the disciple looked at it when they were passing by. They said, hey, you have cast it, it has dried up. Some of us this year, if you don't become fruitful, you are going to experience the wrath of the curse. We must be fruitful. We must be fruitful. If you are not fruitful, wewe unazuia watu, unajaza tu gari, umekua tu ni kizuizi. Umekua kizuizi. Jesus cast that tree because it was not fruitful. Touch your neighbor and tell your neighbor, refuse to be cast this year. Be fruitful. And that's where God is telling us 2023 we must be fruitful in Jesus' name. God is going to make us fruitful this year until people envy us. Kuna watu watasumbuliwa na jealous. Tell your neighbor, kama ujawi sikiriwa wivu na watu watakusikiria mwaka huu. There are people who will be jealous and they will be envious of you. Wewe unajua sai marafiki wako wengi ni marafiki wako maana wewe umekuwa wewe bado ni masikini. Lakini sema wewe, sema sio mimi. Kuna wengine wenyu bado mnapendwa na watu kimaana kwa jini nini wanaona ngatu masikini. Lakini wacha wakati utabarikiwa. Wacha wakati Mungu ataanza kubadilisha anga yako. Wacha watu wakati wa unabadilika. Sura inabadilika. Mavazi inabadilika. Kila kitu rangi zako zinabadilika. Kuna watu wataanza kukuchukia bila sababu. There are people who will just hate you without any good reason. 
mpaka unamauliza my friends mimi nimekukosea nini Isaac when he was in Philistine in the land of Gerar in Philistine he became so blessed until the king of that place akamwambia wewe toka pa uende atukutaki tena umebarikiwa sana in a place where by he have he planted in the same year he planted in a place that was dry the same year he harvested how many fold a hundred fold the same year he never lost a single harvest you will not lose a single for harvest this year in Jesus name god is going to bless us we must be we shall manifest god we shall we shall reflect god everything about us shall reflect mungu katika jina la yesu utakuwa unaona unakaa kulemewa kidogo na mwambia mungu Ujue nikichekelewa watu wanajua wewe ndio uninaabudu. Sina Mungu mwingine, sina miungu mingine. Sina miungu mingine ni wewe nimetegemea Mungu. Huwa sina mi miungu ya dagoni na miungu ya bari ni wewe ninainamia. Huwa sitaji jina la miungu ambayo haina masikio, haina macho, haiwezi tembea. Huwa ninaita wewe Mungu. Mumba wa pingu na ardhi nitetee. Yenye mpaka Mungu anasema huyu kwa kweli akishindwa kushindwa kwake nitaonekana associate na yeye kuinuliwa kwake itaonekana ama nasoshi part of his blessings bwana yesu asifiwe sana haleluya na ndio maana nasema mwaka huu watu what people will envy you this year i write it somewhere you may not get everything as i said even including you being fruitful this year but please make sure write it somewhere this year kuna watu watakusikilia wivu ni vile umebarikiwa the blessings of the lord make it rich and added no sorrow What are these limitations I'm talking about as I conclude? What are these limitations I'm talking about as I conclude? Remember I told you these limitations are restrictions. These limitations are obstacles. These limitations are barriers. These limitations are hindrances. Bwana Yesu asifiwe sana. What are these limitations? Unapata kama the last year iliyoisha There are people who have had they fought uh, they struggle there was a lot of lack of adequate resources. You know lack of adequate resources can be can be a limitation. Is somebody listening to me? Lack of adequate resources can be a serious limitation. Because the Bible says money answers all things. Not prayer, money kuna vitu nimeishi kuombea wapendwa ah na kuomba na kujifunga sijai chapa siku 40 ya prayer na fasting na nikosa kutaja mambo mengine kama hayo mambo hayo lakini saa hii nipatie 100 million Kenyan shillings ama 200 million Kenyan shillings nitaambia prayer closet wewe ngojea hapo money answer all things nakimbia naifanya Because sasa hiyo haya sasa let me give you an example you are praying and fasting for 40 40 days you are asking god to give you a miracle and then that miracle comes what will you do will you continue with your fasting some people will argue yes i will continue with my fasting but for me if it has happened me i'll just live and, and and continue and celebrate Let me give you a very good example a reference from the Bible. When David had sinned against God, one of his son, his son was about to die. He fasted. And the people came people came and told David, your son has done what? Has died. Aliendelea kufasta. Na si akiendelea ndio ufufue. Lakini alifanya nini? Aliamka akajipanguza akapaka mafuta akasema ni sawa, Mungu amefanya vile anataka. Lakini kama ni mimi saa hii Ah, and may God help me to pitie kitu kama hiyo. I think I can continue until a miracle manifest. Praise the name of the Lord. Kuna vitu unaombea unamwambia Mungu nataka ina unafasi. You are ready to go for a hundred days, but you are day number four, day number four. Ndio huyo Mungu ametenda muujiza. Hey! Nikwambia Mungu asante. Daniel spoke and said when the angels appeared to Daniel and he was praying, the angels came and told Daniel, from the day you began praying, the Lord heard you and answered you. But the prince of passion the prince of grief were against your prayer. Bwana Yesu asifiwe sana. What are these limitations that people have faced? This year and uh, God is going to help us and I know like last year in the previous years people have had health issues. Health issues zimekuwa ni limitation kwa watu wengi. Health issues could be in the level 
of uh, the level of physical, mental or emotional. Kuna wengine wanakumbuka na mambo ya alcohol and substance abuse. That can be a limitation. Hello. That can be a limitation. Wewe unataka kufanyia Mungu mambo makubwa lakini mwili imekusumbua. You are healthy today. This year you are going to be healed in Jesus name. Hautakuwa unaenda kwa hautakuwa Mungu atatenda muujiza mwaka huu. Mtu aseme amen. Your health will not be a limitation for you this year in Jesus name. Amen. Hautakuwa unaenda ile 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 chemist tunaendanga tu wanakuona tu hivi wanaanza kukuandikia dawa jua na kujua we dawa yako ni vipi gani Mungu atabadilisha story yako mwaka huu katika jina la Yesu Na mimi ile mambo naongeanga najua mke wangu atakwambia anajua anajua mambo ya, ya medicine ni mara nyingi nimepimwa kwanza kuna siku moja nilikuwa kwake nikapelekwa na marafiki Imagine I was seated somewhere and I like giving these testimonies I am seated somewhere in a hotel I feel like Life is being sucked out of me. I and we were another preacher friend of mine. Nika hata nikaanza kushindwa kupumua. Nikamwambia I the way I'm feeling. I'm not feeling well. I'm not feeling my body just became another one. I just feel as if I've been choked. Akanembe let's go on the other side to your wife. Nikaenda nikapimwa akanipima wakaangalia. Heji pyrori ilikuwa juu. Unataka heji pyrori? Heji pyrori ilikuwa juu. Ikiwa damu ikiwa kwa hiyo mashini kapimo heji pyrori huo ilikuwa juu kabisa. Akanembea lazima uingie mkunywe dawa zile za nasema ni zitwe 14 days. Mimi nilikataa nilisema sitakunywa dawa 14 days. Mungu ataniponya. Unajua kuna watu wanakuanga na stubborn faith. I'm one of them. If you don't have that faith, please the, the Bible says let everybody work thing according to their faith and according to their grace. Mimi nikasema sitakunywa dawa za heji pyrori. And I'm telling you until today. Kuna kuja tu vitu vina mwambie hiyo ni heji pyrori. Mimi heji pyrori nilikataa mambo yake katika jina la Yesu. Sasa hii ugonjwa iliona mimi nimeikataa. Iliona nimekataa kunywa hizo dawa. Sasa hii ugonjwa ilihama kwangu sijui ilienda kwa nani. Na kama ilikuja kwako pokea imani kama yangu katika jina la Yesu. Magonjwa mengine yanatakanga tu stop stubborn faith. The Bible says how do we overcome the world is by our faith in God. Nobody can please God without faith. And it is because of faith that Abraham became a friend of God. Mzee yuko miaka 100, mke ni wa miaka ngapi? 90. Unaambiwa tu utafanya nini? Utazaa. Hebu piga picha ya shosho wa 90 years. Anaambiwa ya kwamba ata beba mimba. Sasa hizo macho yameanza kukosa kuona na ite hiyo. Masikio mifupa haina nguvu. Youth zinakaa namna gani? My God. Lakini Mungu ni nani? Mungu ni nani? Hello. Mungu ni nani? Anatenda miujiza. Na sasa wewe hata una miaka 90, hata hujafika miaka hadi unaanza kubabaisho babaisho lakini kwa ajili ya imani Abraham akaitwa rafiki wa Mungu. Sasa mimi nilitumia imani nikasema nimekatana na madawa. In Jesus mighty name. Mwaka huu kuna watu ambao Mungu anawaondolea limitation ya magonjwa. Pokea imani. Na uambie Mungu akufanye operation. Uambie Mungu akugusie akuponye. Pesa zako zisiende kwa madawa ya pressure na madawa ya nini. Mungu akuponye katika jina la Yesu. Hata Yesu alipokuwa anaombea watu walikuwa anaambia kulingana na imani yako pokea buji mujiza wako. Kuna watu wengine namba 3 wame experience marital challenges. Vizia hautakuwa na shida ya ndoa yako katika jina la Yesu. Hata wale ambao even those who are watching this broadcast wherever you are, this year the Lord is going to come and intervene in your marriage in Jesus name. You will experience grace, mighty grace in your marriage in Jesus name. I've been in marriage now for 18 years and a half. I know what I'm saying. Na my wife sijai ajai sijai enda kumchukua kwao. Hajai toroka, tujai pigana. And we are where we are by the grace of God. She is here. Kama nadanganyana anaweza simama kama moja alisimama kwa kanisa fulani. Akainua mkono akasema hapana, hiyo nimekataa. Kama yuko hapa. Kuna mhubiri mmoja alienda mahali akaita watu atiaombe watu wa, wa marriage di counseling aliona bibi yake amekuja hapa kama umesikia yeye alta call nzuri akasema eh mimi nataka uniombe alitoka tayari akaombea na wengine wakiombea wakiombea bwana Yesu asifiwe sana 
Unajua kuna watu wengine mnaonaka kwa social media wameshikana wamependana wanamumunyana huko katika social media wanadanganyana bila wamependana lakini nyumba zao ni mangumi na mateke marriages that don't that are really working in our today you will never see them in the social media they don't go to the social media because they know they are safe when they are not in the social media get the secret i'm giving you Sometimes putting your beautiful wife in social media put her because you are prayed for her before you are put her there. Because kuna waganga na wachawi evil eyes. Can somebody say evil eyes? Watu wanakuona hivi. Siku na dada moja alitengeneza nywele akamwambia hiyo nywele yako ni smart ikaanza kuanguka ikaanza kuanguka. Ikaanza kuanguka. Kuna mwingine aliambia uko beautiful uko na soft skin. Hapo hapo akashikwa na hiyo gonjo inakuanga sijui naitangwa je mnaijua hiyo gonjo mtu anakuwa anakuwa na kauwe keuke keuke kengine yani ka dermatology yani ugonjwa skin ina change color unakuwa ni kama umekuwa mzungu part kidogo akaanza kushika na ugonjwa huo katika jina la Yesu you are not going to experience any challenges in your marriage this year in Jesus name i know it is not easy unajua number one, huyu ni bwana ametoka katika wazazi background tofauti huyu ni dada ametoka katika nyumba tofauti Boma tofauti. They have been brought up differently. Labda mwingine alikuwa raised up akikula mandazi na na na, ma, na ma sausage na ma zote zile zile mzuri mzuri na makuku. Mwingine ametoka katika familia alijua tu getheri ya kurusharusha na mbosha. Sasa wamekutana. Those are two different people. Unadhani wanataka katika hiyo ndoa kwa amani? Kuna mmoja atakaa anataka kuvuta mwingine chini, mwingine anataka kuvuta mwingine juu bado wanavutana chini. Kwa hivyo In a marriage it is not two angels coming together. Nobody is an angel. Hello. People don't meet in a marriage two angels. They meet people wengine ni mikora. Nilisikia mzee mmoja wakati uko tumeenda kuchaguana wakati wa general election. Huyu mzee akasimama kwa ndani. Ni ni hao watu wa, wa matatu warudi. Mimi ni kama watu wa matatu vile walikuwa naongea. Wakasema hivi. Wanawake ni wazuri. Na nikaona ni kuya hapo hapo amelewa. Wanawake ni wazuri. Atu wanachukua kwa wanaume kama sisi na akatumia jina moja mbaya sana ambayo siweza kuitumia kwa madhabahu maana ni vizuri kuheshimu madhabahu. Atu wanachukua kwa watu kama na akatumia jina ya mnyama. Akachukua au wanachukua kwa wanadamu wanaume yani akatumia jina ya mnyama fulani ambaye ni mbaya. Wanachukua watu kama sisi wanaishi na sisi. Sasa nikauliza where has that come from? Gajo labda huyu mwanaume ameona vile mke ni mzuri lakini yeye ni kitumba. Ni kitumba. But by the grace of God people together. Are we together? 2023 God is going to give your marriage strength in Jesus name. God is going to give your marriage strength in Jesus name. I also pray for my marriage every day. I don't take it for granted. The day I will stop praying for my marriage, things may be bad. I may be even classified among preachers who have divorced there. Their wives. I have to pray for my marriage. I have to pray for my children. Pray for your marriage the way you pray for other things and God is going to see you through in Jesus name. God is going to give us and enable us to overcome limitations. And number four, I finish by saying this. God is going to oppose and fight those who have been opposing and fighting us. Unanisikia? This year God is going to oppose and fight those who have been doing what? Opposing us and fighting us. Psalms chapter 35 verses 1 the Bible says, "Oppose those who oppose me and fight those who fight me this year god is going to lay a table for you psalms chapter 23 verses 5 the bible says the lord prepares a table for me before my enemy this year god is going to help you amen god is going to help you overcome the spirits of opposition and the spirits that oppose you the spirits that oppose you and the spirits that fight you from people like Sanballat and Tobias ha kada bosandere yani kuna watu wana roho ya Sanballat na Tobias always opposing you and fighting you everything you do they fight you Nehemiah chapter 4 go home and read Nehemiah chapter 4 from verses 1 to verses 9 
Atibaka kwa watu kama Sanbalasi na Tobia wanakuja wanakuuliza vile walikuwa wanamuuliza Nehemia. That wall you are building. The wall you are building. Even a fox. If a fox was to rub itself against that wall, it will bring the wall down. Yaani unadhani tumefika hapa? Bali tumefika virahisi. Tumekutana na watu ambao wana roho ya Sanbarat na Tobia. Watu ambao wanatuangalia wanatuuliza hii kazi mnafanya? Si hata mboya akikuja tu jikuna kuna na hii kuta mnatengeneza itaanguka. People who oppose you. People who fight you, people who discourage you. Tobia and Sanbarat. Na Sanbarat na Tobia wako katika some of them are family members. They will never tell you a thing that will encourage you. Hawata ikukupea kaneno ambako kana glucose ya kiroho ikutie nguvu. Watu ambao wana roho ya Sanbalat na Tobia. Angalia mwenzako mwambie leo mwambie mwambie mwenzako ambaye tell your neighbor 2023. Mungu atakupa mafuta. And you are going to overcome the Sanbalat and the Tobia. Wengine na no, you are very qualified wanakuuliza wewe ulipitia university gani ulipitia shule gani Na si ati ah you are not qualified they want to shake you from your foundation from your from your from where you are grounded in your faith in God Sanbarat and Tobia wanakuangalia na kuambia angalia wapi sasa wewe unakaa namna gani Ah watoto wako kweli watasoma Waambie watasoma Ha watoto wako kweli watawahi kuwa kitu watakuwa kitu katika jina la Yesu they will be not kitu they will be something great Haleluya Sanbarat and Tobia wanakuuliza sasa wewe ni Mungu alikuita ama ni ulijiita Sanbarat and Tobia wako wengi wako wengi unataka kufanya ndoa wanakuuliza sasa wewe kweli ile kazi unafanya utaweza kufanya ndoa eh utafanya Moses si tulienda tukaenda Karau na ukatoa mahali wale walikuwa nasema kama utaweza Masan Barat na Tobia uliwapea report ya kwamba ulienda na mkarudi successfully you should give them a report San Barat na Tobia wakikudiscuss you must always make sure God lifts you so that you take back a good report to them that you are moving on in Jesus name San Barat na Tobia watu ambao wanakuvunja moyo hautavunjika moyo hatutavunjika moyo mwaka huu katika jina la Yesu Mungu atatupa nguvu ya kuendelea na kumaliza ile kazi aliyoanzisha ndani yetu. The Bible says that he who began a good work in us will accomplish it in Christ Jesus. I want us to stand on our feet. In Jesus name. 2023 you must be fruitful. You must be fruitful, you must be fruitful. You must be fruitful. You must be fruitful this year. My God, you must be fruitful. Mwaka huu lazima uwe fruitful. This year you must be fruitful. There is nothing will stop you from being fruitful. The devil cannot stop you. Can you turn to your neighbor and help me preach to your neighbor? Tell your neighbor the devil cannot stop you. Your neighbor cannot stop you. Your bosses cannot stop you. Nothing hardship cannot stop you. Death cannot Sickness can stop you being fruitful. Even your father and mother cannot stop you from being fruitful. 2023. The only person who can stop you from being fruitful it is you yourself. Who can stop yourself? Can somebody say I refuse to be stopped? I will be unstoppable. I will be unstoppable. I will be unstoppable. In Jesus name. I said in the first service this year that this year in the first first Sunday of this year 2023 I said here that we are going to dedicate houses. Nilisema to dedicate to dedicate nyumba za wapendo hapa. Na nikasema mimi kama mchungaji nitaombea gari pale. Kuna lori niliombea pale ya mshirika. Bwana Yesu asifiwe sana. Na bado pia nitaendelea kuombea magari hapa. Magari hata mimi yangu mtaiombea. Amen. Chati nina pesa mali lakini itakuja tu. Kwa ajili ya kazi ya Mungu lazima ifanye. Hata kuna mtu tulikuwa naye mali akaiona nikasema ameiona nikasema kumbe Mungu a witness of two is better than one. Mimi yangu mtaiwekea na hiyo gari kidogo ni gari kipita mali mpaka road block inaondolewa. 
katika jina la Yesu. Mimi napita maana mimi ni mwana wa mfalme. I am an ambassador of the kingdom. The Bible says as far as your eyes can see so shall God give you. Katika jina la Yesu. Juzi nilikuwa mahali kuombea familia na wakaanza kuduko kuduko kwa tunaongea kaniuliza mtu wa Mungu shehe ya Israeli. Nikamwambia mniweke kwa mpango katika jina la Yesu. Tunaenda mpaka Dubai na watu katika jina la Yesu. Hallelujah. Listen to me child of God. Listen to me. Nobody can stop your progress. You are the, you are the you are the number one enemy of yourself. Even it's not the devil. Mimi ndio kuja niambie bila utaniambia na ukae hapa kwa mashiki yangu niambie bila utaniambia. Ni sawa tu. Itaniumiza, itanikera lakini nitaenda nichukue Biblia yangu. Ninapopitia Biblia yangu vizuri, ninapoisoma vizuri. The Bible says faith cometh by hearing and hearing the word of the Lord. Sasa mimi na compare the word of God and your report. Which one is superior? The word of God. The Bible says heaven and earth shall pass away, but the word of God shall remain forever and ever. And that's why the Bible says that they that know their God, you can never know your God without reading this. I know nowadays we are preachers who are very good storytellers. And some of them when you have when you are listening to them you have to have a dictionary because of the grammar and the vocabulary. I have no problem with that. But let me tell you church. Heaven and earth will pass away but the word of God shall remain forever and and faith comes by hearing and hearing the word of the Lord. Praise the name of the Lord. The more I read the word of the Lord, the more my faith grows. My faith my faith grows. My faith grows. I will be a big liar if I tell you that I don't get shaken. Many times I get shaken. Many times I feel as if I like the the earth to open up and swallow me whole. Many times I wonder when is am I tomorrow. But when I read some verses like Jeremiah 29:11 that says I alone know the good plans I have for you plans for good and not for evil plans to give you the kind of future help for I'm encouraged sometimes i look at somebody who has gone before me and they have achieved some things that i would so much be happy if i achieve them and i tell god thank you i celebrate with them i thank god for them because i know i'll be next in this i'll be next there is no room for jealousy ah uh-uh. kama mungu amewafanyia inainua imani yangu maana nikumaanisha Mungu sio mwanadamu wa Tanzania. Hata ukijenga nyumba na kuja na ifurahia na iona before bedroom kama ulifanya makosa hapa na mimi nasema mimi sitafanya makosa hapo. Haleluya. Kama ni before mimi nasema five. Haleluya. Ukinunua gari kama umenunua mguu ya 16 inches mimi nasema Mungu nipatie 19 inches. Haleluya. Let me tell you child of God nobody can stop you from going to where God wants you to go this year only you yourself you are the only person who can stop yourself can you lay your hands on yourself and say i'm not going to stop myself i'm not going to stop myself god has already given us the the green flag go ahead this year god has said go oh, and be fruitful and if you are not fruitful he may speak a word and we may be cast There are people who can even curse us because they expect some things from us but unfortunately we don't manifest that. And so out of anger, out of frustration they will curse us. And God may God our God is a God of just. Ataangalia one yenyewe hii laana inafaa. Bwana Yesu asifiwe sana. Ina mikono yako juu mwambie Bwana ni asante mwaka huu unanifanya fruitful. Ambia Mungu mwaka huu unanifanya kuwa fruitful. Katika jina la Yesu mwaka huu kuna watu watashika pesa kubwa mwaka huu kuna watu Mungu atainua watu na wapatie mzigo wa kusimama na wewe mwaka huu kuna watu ambao wamezoea kuwa kusumbuliwa na magonjwa lakini mwaka huu Mungu anatuponya katika jina la Yesu this year God is going to heal us Mungu anatuponya mwaka huu katika jina la Yesu kila mtu kama unaweza simama kwa miguu yako Everybody stand on your feet if you are able. Everybody stand on your feet if you are able in Jesus name. Karaba shando robo sandalaba. Rekamanda raba ganda. Tunapoenda kupokea mafuta haya, tunaipokea kwa imani. 
Sijawahi uza mafuta kwenye kanisa hili. I've never sold oil in this church. This oil is for free. The Bible says freely we have received, freely we should give. And I pray that in the name of Jesus, our life shall never be the same again from today. All of us in Jesus name. Oh, sharaba kandoro baba. Rema shandara bakanda.